Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod in Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'll be using the mod tailored by NewCam9. It works only on RTX based GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. We'll be using the mods version 0.8. Now the thing is, this game does not support DLSS frame generation. So I'll be using another free mod that is developed by Luke FZ to add DLSS frame generation support in this game. The standalone Luke FC mod works only on RTX 40 series GPUs, but if we combine it with NewCam 9's mod, we'll be able to get it working on all RTX based GPUs. Luke FC mod replaces FSR2 with DLSS frame generation. So this is how we can get FSR frame generation working with almost any game that supports FSR2. For example, games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Last of Us, etc, etc. The only problem is that free DLSS frame generation mods don't exist for these games. Just to be clear, both of these free mods have nothing to do with Luke FC's paid FSR frame generation mods. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be using the standard version of NewCam 9's mod. Just go to Nexus Mods website. Then just click on Manual Download under DLSSG to FSR 3.0.8. Then click on Slow Download. You need to have a Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from this website. Now we will be downloading Luke FC Smart from Nexus Mods website. It's completely free. They have provided the install instructions here under description tab. We'll be following them. Just click on files. Click on manual download. Then click on slow download. This mod also gives us the ability to disable or enable chromatic aberration. Just need to press F6 key in order to do this. Now we need to download two more DLL files. Just click on this link. It will take you to this website. Just download the latest version of NVIDIA DLSS DLL from here. Then click on the second link corresponding to DLSS frame generation. It will take you to this website. Just download the latest version of it from here. Latest, click on download. These are the all archive files corresponding to Luke FC's mod. Extract them. Now select these two DLL files. Move them to Streamline folder. Select all of these files. We need to paste them in the game's install directory. Copy. I'll be running the Ubisoft Connect version of Assassin's Creed Mirage. And just click on properties here. Then click on open folder. Paste all of the files here. Overwrite prompt in my case, if you're doing the process for the first time, you won't be seeing it. Now I'll show you how to install NewCam 9's frame generation mod. This is the archive file corresponding to it. Extract its contents. Execute this registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. You only need to run it once. Don't need to run it again and again whenever you try to run a different game. In order to revert the changes, just need to run restore nvidia signature checks.registry file. Now just copy these two DLL files. Go to games install directory. Paste them here. There they are. That's it. Now we need to enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. Right click anywhere on your desktop then click on display settings. Now click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings scroll down until you find vertical sync and set it to on. You can also apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on program settings. Then click on add. Find the game's exe file. There's Assassin's Creed Mirage. Click on Add Selected Program. Scroll down until you find Vertical Sync. And set it to On. Click on Apply. Close. Now we are ready to run the game. Screen Settings. I have set the restriction to Full HD. In-game Vsync Disable. Click on Graphics tab. I have maxed out all of the settings. Just scroll down until you find up sample tag here make sure 
you have selected AMD FSR2, don't select NVIDIA DLSS. You won't see the option to enable or disable frame generation from here. I have set its preset to quality, sharpness strength set to 60% entirely up to you. Let's start the game. There's Basin. I am in Baghdad. Here FPS is around 90. Very high GP load. We can enable or disable frame generation on the fly by pressing the end keyboard key. Just observe the FPS counter. I am going to press the key. Yeah, FPS increased up to 144, maxing out the refresh rate of my display. The game is running very smoothly. It's very easy to tell that frame generation mode is working. Just observe the game's interface. Oh no, I need to run. So many of them. As I was saying, game's interface is flickering. This is a bug. We have already seen it in games like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Knight and even Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think this is how Luke FC Speed Frame Generation mod works. Using that mod, you can enable frame generation in games that don't support DLSS frame generation. It basically replaces FSR2. With the mod enabled, I'm not observing any graphical artifacts, no ghosting around the character models. Really impressed by its performance, I'm getting a very smooth experience. FPS mostly stays above 130, close to 140. I hope flickering of the game's interface gets fixed soon with the future updates of the mod. Looking forward to them. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.